Okay, so I made some changes to the uh, URL extractor that we made yesterday in Google Apps Script. Uh, the one that we created yesterday required you to know the the columns that you were after, meaning you only really had one to go after. In this case, we're making it to where it will extract these from any and all columns. So let's take a look at what we changed. And actually, we'll just run through the whole thing. So here we have the two things that are going to be unique to you. So your sheet ID, which is located up here, and the sheet name, which in this case is, is down there, the target sheet that you're after. You could automate that too, right? So you could have it uh, um, go through all of the sheets within that, uh, but we're not going to do that just yet. So here in the function, first thing we do is we're getting the header. Uh, we can actually just change this because I don't think that we need the table for anything else. And we know that our header is going to be the first row, so we're going to change that as well as uh, let's just put this right here since we're not using that table uh, variable anywhere else. So now we've got the header which is this stuff in the first row. And we know how many rows that we need to go through. So this is where all the action happens. We're going to map through the header and we are going to identify the columns that have links somewhere in them. Right. If any of the rows within that column have a link, that's one that we want to target. So how do we do that? Uh, we're passing through three arguments here. You can check the this information out at um, the Mozilla documentation, which is there. But I is the current iteration. Uh, so the current item in the array that we're looping through, n is the index number, and r is the array. These are arbitrary, you can call them whatever you want. Just remember that you're using them down here and don't mix them up. So here, now we want to assign or get all of the links out of that column that we're on in that given moment. So we go report, get range, we're gonna start with the first row, the target column that we're after, so the index here, and we're doing plus one because the index is always going to be less than uh, one less than the column number, the number of rows we want to go through, and then we're only going one column deep. Then we get rich text values, which we went over yesterday, and then we want to map through these, right? And for each row, you want to dive into that row, the first item and the only item, check to see what the uh, URL is, if there is a URL, it will give you that. Otherwise, it will come back null. Then we're using this function, uh, links shift. Shift is basically just going to cut off the very first item in the array, and that is the current header. We don't need that anymore. We want to create a new header, which is going to be this, right? So we're just appending URL to the front of it, and then what the original header name was. We're wrapping it in double brackets here because this needs to be a two-dimensional array, right? It's the row and then the column and then our value so that's why we've done that and then we are using this spread function to merge the new header with the existing column and then we're returning some information here so we're returning the reference uh, which i don't know that we necessarily need uh no we do not need any either of these anymore we just want to know does this have links and then return the information so how do we check if it has links we iterate through this and if any of them have the 
uh, if any of them are true, meaning if any of them are not null, they return to an actual link, then this will return back true, meaning it's a column that we want to target. And then we come down here and we just filter out all the ones that do not have links. And then we can just iterate over that, go for each uh, object here that we have. We're going to get the range uh, that is the last column. So we're basically looking at the very end of the sheet and we're going to place this information into the end of the sheet with the new column, which includes the new header name. So let's see how that works. Let me paste that in here for reference for those who need to read up on it. We will run this and then over here we should see it come through in, in a second here. It has to loop through and do all the filtering first, but as soon as it does then it will go through and drop all that information in here. And hopefully There we go. All right, so we can see here there's a reference to each column so we know where it's placed and if we wanted to, we could just you know move it over to where it belongs. Anyway, that's it. A uh, little bit uh, better method than we were using yesterday. So figured I'd uh, update this script.